kind of help people out a little bit more with the wiring setup for an ALH swap. Uh, this is an EDC-15. It can be a manual, an automatic, or an all-wheel drive variant. All you have to do is go into it with software, either OBD-11 or VCDS VAGCOM, and tell it what it should be looking for. This is a basic schematic of what you would expect to see in the wiring harnesses of the ALH. What you're going to have to do is go into it and figure out, these are the systems that I want, these are the systems that I don't want. I create Excel spreadsheets telling me, okay, these are the wires that I need to keep. This is what the wires correspond to. In some locations, I put the voltage. This is one portion of the ALH engine harness. If you to disassemble it, there will be a zip tie that holds it right here. Cut the zip tie off. Pull this tab out all the way. Wires are holding it in. Pull this little purple thing out this way, and you're going to have two of these things, bundles of wires. These bundles of wires correspond to the numbers and the colors associated in the diagram. Again, in my Excel spreadsheet, I put the colors that I should be looking for. If you find out that you'd like, let's see, for example, um, we're not going to use pin 35. On the back, it's very difficult to see, but it's going to tell you the range. Pins 15 to pin 24, for example. So what you're going to have to do is go in here. You look, there's that very tiny slot all the way at the end. You push it with a screwdriver, an eyeglass one, and then the pin pops out. Then when you're done with everything that you need, you tape it up, you make it look pretty, and you get ready to install it into the car. For example, here's my other end of the harness, the short end, all taped up, looking pretty. All I have to do is hook up those three wires, and I'm good to go. Hopefully this helps.